Is pH important in swimming pool water? You bet it is. So pH is the measurement between the relationship of acids and bases in your swimming pool. So which is to say, you know, how acidic is this water or how alkaline is this water? And what we're aiming for is neutral. Neutral is something that's going to be comfortable to you, which is about 7.4 on the pH scale. And this is a pH where chlorine is still able to be effective in the water. And at this neutral state, it is unlikely that you're going to develop something like scale. And that's kind of all of the parameters that are being considered when you arrive at the conclusion of a pH of 7.4 being ideal for swimming pool water. So when you're asking, is it important? What's probably happening is you're struggling to maintain a pH of 7.4. Maybe you're 8.4 or something more than that. And you're like, look, is this a problem? I've tried to correct this a couple of times, but it just keeps being too high and I don't know what to do. And this is where a lot of pool owners will go wrong because the water can still look good visually. So you think, you know what, I'm struggling. It doesn't seem to be a problem. The water looks good. I feel fine when I get out. And so you stop treating the problem. But eventually you'll start to develop scale because you have, you know, a pH which is too high. And what you're not appreciating is the logarithmic scale that pH is based on. You are aiming for 7.4 and you are at 8.4 or perhaps even more than 8.4 because a lot of testing methods kind of stop being effective above 8.4. It's just like 8.4 or more. But what's significant is if you're if you're at 8.4, your water should be 10 times more acidic. That's what 7.4 would be. 6.4 would be 100 times more acidic. When you say it like that, it kind of sounds really important, right? Like, would you want your water to be 100 times more acidic than it's supposed to be? Probably not, I'm guessing. It probably wouldn't look very good. It probably wouldn't feel very good. And that's why pH is really important. And it's kind of like one of the more elusive chemicals in swimming pool water management in terms of people having difficulty to maintain the ideal numbers. And it's just because, you know, when you swim, it changes the pH of the water. When it rains, it changes the pH of the water. So in addition to, you know, you're the, the, that you're trying to manage it, there's all external factors affecting the water all the time as well. So it's, it's constantly a juggling act. And that's a little bit the nature of balancing pH. Something you could do, let's say you want a solution to make this easier, you should explore borates for swimming pool water. At approximately 30 to 50 parts per million, borates in swimming pool water act as a secondary buffer for pH and alkalinity movement. Uh, basically, alkalinity in your pool water is what helps to buffer the movement, movement of pH. If you didn't have very much alkalinity at all, then your pH would fluctuate wildly. So you try to have some alkalinity that such that the pH doesn't move around so much. Well, there's another layer to that where you could add borates at 30 to 50 parts per million, and you're going to find that it buffers the movement of the alkalinity, which further buffers the movement of the pH and kind of more or less helps to lock everything in the ideal range. And I think there's another benefit as well that you end up using less chlorine than you used to for kind of like the same volume of water. Uh, so definitely something that you could explore if you're struggling with pH and you're asking the question, is pH important in swimming pool water? You bet it is. Unfortunately, it's one of the trickier things to get your head around, uh, but ultimately something that's definitely possible with a little bit of research. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.